when reading through Mark, you might have been struck by Mark chapter 13 when Jesus says that nobody knows the day or the hour. In verse 32, he says, Now concerning that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. You might have been a little bit confused. If Jesus is God, how come the Father knows but he doesn't know? Where's, where's uh, Jesus' ignorance coming from? There are two possible solutions to this question. And uh, one of the, this, the latter one is more probable, I think, than the former. But I'll pose to you both, both of the options. The first one is that Jesus is saying that nobody knows, and he includes himself in this list as kind of a hyperbolic statement to just drive the point across. Because if you get the whole context of this passage, he's talking about a lot of complex and curious things about the destruction of the temple in 70 AD, but then also talking a little bit about the rapture, um, or at least when Jesus comes again. All of this is very complex things. And so when he gets to verse 32, he says, now concerning that day or hour, nobody knows about it. So stop worrying about it. Even I don't know about it is what he's saying. So that could be a, a hyperbolic statement to be like, stop worrying about things. Moderately persuasive, not super persuasive. The second thing and the more reasonable thing to believe about this passage is the reason why Jesus says he doesn't know is because in his earthly body, he doesn't know. It's true. Think about what happens in Philippians 2, where Jesus, um, where Paul writes that Jesus empties himself. In taking on humanity, Jesus is restricting himself um, while he's in his human form. While Jesus is human on earth, Jesus lacks some of the abilities of divinity. For example, being multiply located. Jesus' body cannot be both located in Judea and also in Galilee, in Nazareth. Like, he can't be located well actually judea is it nazareth in judea point is he can't be located in two different cities he can't be located in bethlehem and in egypt he can only be located in one uh, location in the same way jesus as taking on human form has to make the concession that he's not going to know everything he doesn't know everything as a human because humans don't know everything so jesus isn't saying he's not god but he does empty himself of certain divine characteristics when he becomes a human if not, he wouldn't become human. If not, he's not actually human and God for us. So in answer to this question, why does Jesus not know? Because Jesus has chosen to not know. Because um, one, one person, one theologian put it this way. It's like a person who's a very good basketball player who decides to play in a wheelchair with the rest of the you know people in, uh, who are also... Um, paralyzed or unable to use their legs, voluntarily choosing to enter into that state, even though he certainly is capable of knowing the hour and the day.